Today on Review This Thing, we're going to test out the CVA Scout with this Kix Goblin Thunder Choke Tube in our 410 test series. Hey, this is Robbie with Review This Thing. If you've been keeping up with our channel lately, you know that we've been wearing these 410s out. Adrian has gotten a Mossberg 500 that we've gotten dialed in. I picked up the CVA Scout, and you saw in the first pattern test, we used the Jeb's double extra full choke tube that it comes with and we weren't getting quite the numbers of pellets that we wanted to. So we found a couple of different chokes, and this time we're using the Kix Goblin Thunder with a 385 constriction. Kix basically designed this exactly for this gun. So we're hoping we get really good results out of it. Just like in the other videos, we're using this Hawk Vantage IR Turkey Dot Scope that they just come out with. We're really hoping to find the perfect load for this setup. Let's go shoot them. All right, first up for today with the Kix choke is the Viper ammunition. Let's roll. That looks really good. So I'm not 100% certain, and obviously we're getting ready to go count it, but looks like a tighter pattern out of this kicks choke. All right, 78 pellets in that six inch circle. It's a little bit to the left and maybe just a little bit lower than the turkey's head than what we would want it to be. But I think that's the best showing out of that CBA scout so far. All right, another consistent one in our testing, verdict. Here we go. You know, I just continue to be amazed by this scope and how consistent the pattern seems to be right there around the turkey's head. Looks like a pretty good pattern. Still not as tight as I would want it. We're going to get this thing figured out. We got 60 pellets just to the left of the turkey's head. A lot better than I was anticipating whenever I first saw this target. Next up, Apex Turkey Ninja. These have been very consistent throughout all of our testing. Let's see what they'll do with this choke. Looks like a lot of pellets on that target. Oh man, that looks really good. Obviously we're gonna count them, but it looks really good. 59 pellets out of the Apex Turkey Ninjas. Definitely right at the turkey's head too. All right guys, next up is the newcomer in our past couple of tests, Salt Creek Ammo. We've definitely been pleased with these. Let's see what they'll do with this choke. That might be the best one yet. Of course, they all, look, they all look pretty good from back here. They're all gonna be a dead turkey, but definitely getting hard to tell because we keep looking at these targets and I feel like I'm saying that that's the best one yet so far, but that one really actually might be the best one yet. 70 pellets right on the turkey's head. Really impressed with this newcomer. And last in this testing is the Apex Turkey Shot. These have been really consistent even in our 20 gauge and 12 gauge testing. Yep, like I said, they all look good from here. Let's go see what it looks like. Of course, I guess the target doesn't really matter as long as the turkey's flopping. Regular nine and a half shot. Let's go count them and see what they look like. Looks pretty good from this end. So this is the last one. So I can tell you that kicks choke doesn't seem to shoot the apex very well. Might just be our setup, but it doesn't seem to do quite as good. All right, there's all the shooting with our CVA scout and the kicks choke. The Viper seemed to do the best with 78 pellets. Salt Creek and it's 70 and verdict in at 60. But like we've said in several of these other videos, we're basing our results on the total number of pellets in the tightest six inch circle that we can find. The cool part is with all of these loads, they're very likely to kill a turkey at 40 yards and you've got a little leeway left and right, top and bottom based on our pattern testing. We're just giving you the top three because obviously that's what we're looking for. Make sure you check out our other pattern testing videos for the 410, get the numbers off of those and see what you think. Also check out the full review on the CVA Scout on the Hawk Vantage IR scope, which we've loved shooting with. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like what we're doing. Hey, thanks for watching our CVA Scout with the Kicks Choke 410 pattern testing video. Make sure you check out some other videos while you're here. If you really like what we're doing, subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and our website, reviewthisthingtv.com for more information, lots more content, and we'll see you soon.